Satunde Bakari, the serving overseer of the Citadel Global Community Church in Lagos, has revealed that he spoke with Yoruba rights activist Sunday Adeyemo, well known as Sunday Buhu, amid the Fulani Hesme crisis rocking the Barakpara area of Oyo State. Bakari, during an Instagram live chat with media mogul Dele Momodu on Tuesday, claimed he pleaded with Igoho to avoid a bloodbath. Igo had issued a seven-day quit notice to the Hesme in Ibarakba and enforced same. There have been reprisals since the incident. Bakari said immediately, Sunday Igo gave that ultimatum. I knew there was trouble if nothing was done immediately, and he carried out what he said he would carry out. What did I do? As an individual, I find a way of reaching out to him, Igbohu. I have never met him before, never spoken to him before, but I reached out to him and after a while he called me and I said, I appeal to you by the mercies of God. Two wrongs cannot make a right. You have proved your point. Let us find alternative solution so that there would be no blood bath. He promised to come and see me in Lagos and I had made preparations for him to come but unfortunately his father took ill and he had to take him to the hospital. I also followed to ensure I pray for the father. I told him I am not saying you are right or you are wrong. That is not the issue but please if you carry out this threat it will lead to something bigger than you and that you and you do not want to do to go down in history as someone who had who had good intention of defending the rights of his people but ended up bringing them a blood bath he thanked me and then he said he would find time to come to lagos you see you see these people in as much you are my 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 my, my worry my worry is that why is it that Okay, you are considering the other people because you think those people are violent or you think the government is going to take action against him. The government that cannot provide, cannot protect the people. That is where I'm even having problem with all these people. Now, they will not be telling you, oh, no, you don't do that. Ah, they, don't, they, don't, they don't talk like that. Oh, you have to be diplomatic. And that is why they are, they are known for. You have to be diplomatic. But when, I don't know, did you reach out to, the first thing is that as a pastor that you call yourself, did, he, did you not hear the recent atrocities being committed now, not to talk of the ones that have been that have been happening. You have been going to Asso Rock and you know these things have been going on. You see, no, he said he didn't want to tell him whether it was wrong or it was not wrong. But you are always going to Asso Rock. What do you go there? And that is why you see that Igbo came out and began to say that he's so dis he disappointed in uh, he's disappointed in the uh, uh, in Oni of Ife. They will just go and come back. Not that they are deaf, not that they are not hearing. All these things that have been happening, you know, even <laughs> the the so-called Oni of Ife, if something had happened to his wife or his his, his wife is being messed uh, messed with, will he be happy? Will he come out and be saying, "Oh, uh, let the government take care of it"? When you know outrightly that the government is not doing anything, and people want to be clapping for this kind of people. Not that they are not in this country, not that they are not in this land. They are not. They, they don't know what has been happening. As Tunde Bakare himself was he able to call the doctor that died, that man that brought development, that brought jobs for a lot of people. Now all those people now, they have gone inside. You know, they have joined again into this uh, unemployment uh, 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 setting again. At least they were managing themselves with this uh, with this man's uh, farm and business that he brought to that area. Did you make that time to call the man that lost his life? Did you call the family? Or you did you call the family? Or you think the family are just okay, it's a normal thing. Oh, it's just like a maybe, you know, because maybe these people they just feel that uh, maybe you just have a maybe hundred naira, uh, maybe just misplaced hundred naira. Okay, the, the hundred naira is lost. Okay, I, I, will just, I will just get another one. Maybe that is how they are looking at this whole thing. Did you call the, the, the family of the people who are affected? Oh, did you people not hear that uh, the Seriki of Fulani in that particular place had a uh, uh, cell detention? No, it does not matter. No. Why didn't you call for this uh, dialogue since when the people have been crying? Why didn't you call for this? Because you people believe that uh, 
you know, the people are nobody. The, the people, I beg you, the ordinary people, I beg me, they go sit down. Uh, they are villagers. Uh, they are non entities. You know, I beg, let they will still cry. Uh-huh. Yeah, the government is there. The governor is there to take care of them. The governor did not do anything. The governor has not been there since these people have been crying. Before they went to Igbo, you did not go to that place. It was after everything. Now came to limelight. Uh huh. He now went to go and visit them. Did you call them? No, did you call the so called Fulanis to say, let us sit on round table and stop this nonsense? Or you want to tell us they didn't do all these things? They will find a way around it. The answers that happened. The same Bakari was telling us that, oh, some people, you know, there's a, a film that was shot somewhere. And people are now saying that, uh, Ami Kide, the soldiers Kide, uh, protesters, that they just shot the film somewhere. And they now began to spread it, that it was uh, the NSAS protest. That it was, ah, you can imagine. If this kind of person can say that, so what else will they now say? So even with the NSAS, with the problem that, that occurred, they didn't even say anything. They are neither here nor there. They are just, they speak with, a, a, you know, where with the two sides of their mouth, they will say one thing today. Like I said before, I don't even trust them because tomorrow again, he will come back and tell us uh, another thing. You called him, you did this and that, but you didn't call the people who have been involved in this. Maybe they thought today, maybe people were joking. No, maybe they would have, but none of them is telling us that all these things did not happen. And that is one good thing. Both from people from the, from the north, they have never de- denied that such things that the people are, the, the accusation they are levying against this Fulani Esme, they have never denied it uh, 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 that it is false. But what they are saying is that uh, everybody is not a criminal. All Fulanis are not criminals. And now they are saying even the ones that are committing criminal, because you have labeled them criminals, then you are labeling, labeling all of them criminals. You called him, you should not do this. Why didn't you call the Fulani Esme or the Mieti Allah? Why didn't you call them to say enough is enough? So when you now call him and what happened, Bakari, you are one of the problems we are having in Nigeria. All said here is like telling him to leave them alone. That is it. Don't place another football bet, okay, until you get to know what you want. This pastor, you are more terrible than Buhari. <laughs> Hell, you can imagine. Ah, God is trying, Sha. Because that's why the Bible says that the heart of man is desperately wicked who can know it nobody nobody can know it. desperately wicked when these people were doing they have they're having their few days everybody nobody care uh-huh, this is a non-entity because they you did not regard nigerians but now when somebody say i'm going to i'm going to fight for these people now you are not beginning to say oh your own is too much you have to be careful you have to be careful because this uh, this line that you are towing it might not be whatever it might not be palatable huh Nobody has monopoly to violence. So, so that you, so the people that who have been dying, because according to what Bakari said now, so that uh, the, your people will not blame you that you are the one that allow a uh, blood bait. So this whole thing should continue to happen. All of them, eh? Hypocrisy will not just. It is hypocrisy that is just dealing with all of them. So guys, let's hear your opinion. Leave your comment below and let's know your thoughts on this.